So right now, we're going to briefly discuss using shared poses in Face Rover Targeter. If you're familiar with using tracking models in Analyzer, then shared poses is a pretty similar concept. By creating a database of the poses you've made in Retargeter, you can then use that database to apply those poses to future scenes involving the same actor and the same facial rig. Shared poses are most useful when you have a lot of shots and need to cut down on or eliminate the amount of time you're making poses for a character, or to maintain a high level of consistency throughout animation by allowing all of the artists to draw from the same pose library. Now I'll quickly demonstrate how to create and use shared poses. You can see here that I have a finished animation that I created in Maya with Retargeter. Uh, all the information I'm going to say here regarding shared poses is applicable across all of the Autodesk products that we support. I'm just happy to be using Maya for this example. Uh, you can see in each of the face groups that I have a bunch of poses created that I got my animation from. Uh, when I move on to a new shot, um, I'm going to have to create the poses again from scratch for that shot, but instead I can add these poses to a shared pose database and use them to create my poses faster than I can by hand. To use shared poses, we're going to have to go to the menu bar in Retargeter, select Advanced and Preferences. We're going to make sure that Show Advanced UI Elements is checked on, like so, and under the Shared Pose Database section, we're going to create a new one name it something useful. So Victor Emily after my character and actor. Hit OK. And your shared pose database is loaded and ready to use. Now we're back in the main retargeter interface and we'll take a look at our poses and decide which ones we want to add into our shared pose database. Uh, we'll do that by selecting one, like so, right-clicking on it, and clicking Add as Shared Pose. I'll take a moment, and you can see that it's been added under our Shared Poses tab, which I'll get to in a second. You can also add multiple poses at the same time, so I'm just going to add the rest of our mouth poses all at once. Right-click, Add as Shared Pose. You can see now in the Shared Poses tab, I expand it a little. Now we have all the poses that we've just added, in this case all of the 15 poses from the mouth group. Uh, they're labeled by the name of the job that they were taken from, which is this, uh, the frame that they were pulled from, and the description that you gave them. Uh, as such, accurate and informative pose descriptions become uh, much more important as you're using them in between jobs. Uh, any additions or changes you make to a shared pose database are saved as you work. So as soon as you add in a new pose, you're good to go for using it for other jobs. We don't have to do anything else. So to use our shared pose database on a different performance, you can see I have a brand new fresh scene here with the same rig but no animation on it. And I have Retargeter open and I've opened the open performance dialog. You can see I, I've already selected my brand new FWR file. I have the exact same character setup file, which is important. If you want to use shared poses between performances, you need to use the same character setup file for all of them. It's very important. And I have browsed already to my shared pose database that we created in the last session. So now that everything's all set up, I'll import those and hit OK. So for the sake of saving time in this video, I've skipped forward a bit and the performance is loaded with our shared pose database in it and the scene is set up, but there are no poses or any animation on the actual rig. Uh, I'm going to work in the mouth group first, so I'll select the mouth and go to the shared poses tab. You can see all of our poses here for the given group. And we will click here, the check uncheck all to turn them all on. Only poses that are checked on will be used. Uh, now for the important part, the part where shared poses actually save you time. Normally, we would begin by grabbing a few auto poses, and it's no different in this instance. So I have three selected, and I'll hit get auto poses. The thing to note is that when you have active shared poses like we do, 
then any auto poses you get will already be posed based on the information in the shared pose database. Okay, you can see by the three that we got, double clicking them, that they're already pretty close to what they should be. They're not exactly correct, but it's a start. So getting auto poses doesn't just tell you which frame the poses should be on now. It approximates what the pose should actually look like, saving you time while you're creating the poses and ensuring that from shot to shot your poses are consistent as possible. You will have to tweak them a bit, like this one isn't perfectly correct and the smile isn't. That's only because we added poses from one shot. As you add more, your shared pose database will become more robust and every time you get auto poses it'll be more and more accurate and save you more and more time. So from here, we continue to get more auto poses as normal, and then retarget just like the normal workflow. The workflow is the exact same, but the auto poses now contain data that will speed up your work in Retarger. You can continue to add poses to the shared pose database, and you'll quickly be able to build a library of poses that will cover a wide range of motion for your actor and your rig, significantly reducing the time that you spend setting up poses in subsequent shots.